Our people are scattered like stars in the galaxy. What are we? What do we stand for? Being a Mandalorian is not just learning about how to fight. The creed is how we survived. I'm going to Mandalore so that I may be forgiven for my transgression. This is the way. This is the way. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Lost Hyperspace Podcast. And welcome to the season premiere of season three of The Mandalorian and The Mandalorian Podcast. Uh, our first Mandalorian podcast. Wow. Uh, before we begin, I just want to say, don't forget to hit that follow button or leave that five-star review. And that, we will appreciate it so much. And check out our merchandise. And that will be awesome. Um, and joining me here to talk about this amazing episode one of The Mandalorian is your co-host, Matthew Mindchester. Why do I say everyone? Chester. Chester. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Just like one, two. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Uh, but yes, Matthew, why did you feel about this episode? <laughs> this insanely good episode. Yes, it is. <laughs> what was your feel about it? There's a lot to break down in this season. Yes, there's a lot to like. Where do I start? Yeah, <laughs> that's that's how I feel like right now. I'm like, where do we start? Where do we start from? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, I I just said that I need where we could start. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I, I, hey, I I'm asking started. you, what did you think of this episode? Well, I said there's so much to. To think about <laughs> okay um for starters i'm still going through the process of what is the definition of a mandalorian <laughs> in yeah, the we, sense of we... one creed says if you remove your helmet you're no longer no longer a helmet yeah no longer a mandalorian but there's like um He's the child of the watch. Yeah, that's death watch or is no, it just uh, watch. A child of the watch means that the uh they kind of explain that from the beginning. It's when they're taken as a child and they're watched and basically grew as a Mandalorian. As they grow uh older, they are wa they are basically they watch over each other. They're that type of Mandalorian as a group. Of Mandalorian, which I thought that was interesting to see in this episode uh, at the beginning, where we see the whole so baptize of the Mandalorian. <laughs> so does that mean? Does mm -hmm. that mean that the Death Watch is the sole purpose is to watch death? Uh, death Watch and Child of the Watch is different. Is yeah, the Death Watch is watching death. <laughs> what? <laughs> you Why would the, the Death you, Watch you, be you, watching death? You were no, saying that death you, watch were, is... you were saying what the Watch is watching mm -hmm. over other people. Death Watch is probably a group of Mandalorian that uh, probably runs the Clone Wars is, yeah. is the only suicide house. Yeah. Probably right. the group of Mandalorian that runs in their own groups, like Child of the Watch. They all have they all have different names and they all have different groups of the Mandalorian. Mando is definitely Child of the Watch, and he's a young child and taken from a young as a youngling and trained to be. <laughs> I said a youngling, yeah, pretty much <laughs> like a youngling and trained to be, you know, this high. Mandalorian, uh, uh, oh, first Overlord, you know, <laughs> you know what, you know what was weird? Yeah, what? When I so when I saw them made the tiny helmet. Oh yeah, I naturally assumed that was gonna be Grogu's helmet. <laughs> That's what I assumed too. I was like, wait, is Grogu getting him? One thing is she was smashing a very tiny uh, metal. Yeah. So I was like, oh, is Grogu getting a helmet? And I'm like, <laughs> when I when we enter, I'm like, come on, it's not Grogu. Oh, man. <laughs> then we, then yeah. I thought 
then I thought the little kid that we saw mm -hmm. was more before. I thought that was young Jin. 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 Or, <laughs> and, yeah. uh, young Jin. I thought Jin. he was young one. Yeah, young like, uh, Mando. Yeah. yeah I, that's what I thought too until uh, Mando came in and saved everybody. What did you think of the giant alligator? <laughs> Man, that was humongous. Yeah, that was that. Yeah. That that just reminded me of the whole <laughs> like the whole idea with um like they brought a cat in, they mm -hmm. brought a dinosaur. We they brought in like real life animals in the stores now. Yeah. <laughs> A <laughs> giant alligator. Cro yeah, crocodile <sighs> alligator. Yeah. First yeah. reason I saw it, I was like, whoa, this might be the Godzilla, but then I was like, <laughs> mm, that looks more like a crocodile. Yeah, thing. yeah. Uh, man, this was, a, this was a great episode. This was everything. The, one thing, okay, I, I gotta say, it. Aliens. This is the Star Wars I've been looking for all through Andor's aliens, man, aliens, <laughs> and Mando <laughs> give me everything I wanted in the Mandalorian episode. I was like, I was like, oh man, my mind is blowing. Like, and mm. like I was, my mind was exploding because how much aliens, and not just that, aliens, humans, and a mix of a uh, robots. Like we, I, I was like, wow, this is like. This is probably going to be like the best episode I see all week. All week. I hope not, but this probably must, might be my best episode yet. But um, so yeah, let's break it down now. In the beginning, <laughs> a long time ago in the galaxy far, far away, we see Mando. Uh, this man, I, I, I kind of want to do another podcast after this. Uh, because this was just a big, exciting episode. And we can watch it again, maybe, and then, you know, talk about mm -hmm. it again. Uh, but uh, it, uh, a long time ago in the galaxy, far, far away, uh, we <laughs> see... Well, uh, so, again, they were turning a kid or baptizing a kid in the way of Mandalorian. Uh, we see that in the beginning, and they get attacked by a giant alligator. <laughs> alligator, <laughs> which was an insane fight scene and I loved it. Yeah. It was like the 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 skin wasn't penetrable because it reminded me of um the zero beast oh, that we yeah. saw in yeah. the batch. <laughs> yeah. The man was penetrable like very like you can't yeah it was yeah. uh it was a great way to start the mandolin with full action and full everything in it and I'm like wow this is blowing my mind um but yeah the mandalorian finally it, they're not they weren't able to defeat them um uh, as it, they work together we see that they were a team they work together they're a creed uh mm -hmm. sadly that child wasn't able to complete i i felt sorry for that child who wasn't able to complete his word when he says i will oh. remove my helmet and then that sentence didn't get completed before, you know. <laughs> now I'm wondering what happens him. with him. I was, what happens to him? Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe Mando takes him. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if Mando actually got to complete his. I think he did because he's, he is. I think he's that honorable. I think he is. Um, yeah. But, yeah. I, I, I am like, Mind blowing on this episode. So, um, episode 17 from The Mandalorian, uh, season one through, uh, Mandalorian, uh, from season one to season two. This is episode 17, The Apart State, just so you guys know. Um, but, um, yeah, we see Grogu and Mando make. Uh, an entrance with the coolest ship ever. I was like, wow. I mean, not that I like Razor Crest better, but. Yeah, he, no. did he uh, still cool. have that? Or oh, he it was lost? destroyed, remember? Ah. Uh, yeah. The X Empire destroyed Razor Crest. <laughs> I was pretty sad about that. Um, But yes, um, 
also we see him a lot. Uh, we com- he comes in with Grogu, like the cutest, and uh, uh, the lady, uh, the Mandalorian uh, crafter. I can't remember completely her name. I wish I had it, but she told she tells Mando, like she says in the trailer, "You have removed your helmet." Uh, basically, that she he should have not been there. He shouldn't come back. He shouldn't come back. And when he said, uh, when uh, I was like, you removed your helmet. And that, that was worse. You did so on your own free will. And then Grogu is like, yep. And Grogu definitely agrees with it. <laughs> and I'm like, how rude. That's your daddy. Yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, I, 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 what did you think of that? Like seeing that. She's refusing for uh, uh, Mando to uh, be part of the Mandalorian anymore, uh, part of their group anymore. Until he and then see, and when Mando said that he was going to go and cleanse his face and whatever, ba- bathe himself in the man in the holy water of Mandalore, Mandalore. Uh, you see, she didn't like, she didn't like that so much, like. I don't. Th- yeah, I didn't think I, she wanted her back. Wanted him back. That's a lot. That's something <laughs> to think about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What did you think of that? Well, how many Mandalorians of that creed mm-hmm. lose the helmets, and this, and then was like, "I'm gonna go wash my, I'm gonna cleanse myself and come back." Yeah. Is is the Mandalorian the only Mandalorian that's done that? Has this hasn't happened before, has it? No, no. So the, I wonder. I'm no. wondering whether the has whether the have something the to do one. with it. So I'm wondering if that may have that maybe it may have something to do that with that. I don't mm-hmm. know. I'm just look looking for possibilities of what could, where it could be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, yes. That would be great. Um, we also uh one of the thing that we got also that was pretty awesome is that uh Mando traveled back to no Nora Nova Novara Novaro Novaro yeah Novaro and met the um what was his name again? What was his rank? Yeah, I'm wondering where you concerned us like the well wait, wait, he, were you call, concerned us the mayor? Where were you concerned? Well, no, the Mazatry. High the high ma- <laughs> high Mazatry. Yeah, what's his role? Like what uh, uh, that, he uh, he owned the place. He owned the, the place. Is he basically the mayor? I don't know. They didn't or say that, or was it more like, you know, Boba Fett was... Well, they didn't say the mayor, so... Uh... Well, I mean, like, Mages, there's many names for one for the same job. Well, yeah, but I didn't... I didn't, uh... I didn't, uh... I didn't hear him say, uh, mayor, but... All I know no, they call him... I didn't... I was saying he might say there might be another word for it. I mean, I have, I'm finding out options and what it could be. Yeah, but I'm, I'm gonna call him by the way, he, he, well, he, he calls his school and all of the, um, <laughs> yeah, the pirates. Yeah. Oh, I recognize the uh, actor who played the pirates. I don't remember really his name, but I recognize him as Piggy from Power Ranger SPD. Uh, you know, I used to be a big Power Ranger fan. Uh, uh, um, he, he looked like Peggy, the guy who's always like, and his his thing is like that, and I he just he just yeah. reminded me of Peggy. You know Peggy, right? Yeah. Now, yeah. first reason when I saw like when I, the pilots saw me though, mm-hmm. I kind of thought I I kind of first reason associated that with the like. Have we met before? Probably at the battle <laughs> with yeah at 
on tattooing. <laughs> yeah, I I I love like when... was was the pirates with, but no, that wasn't it. Wasn't pirates? It was the spice guys that that they were fighting on tattooing. Yeah, I'm trying Pokeball to. Set. It would have been pretty cool if it, if if they um if they had referenced that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess now we know that Mando doesn't trust pirates, so he definitely would not trust Honda. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering. <laughs> I was wondering about Honda showing up in the show. Yeah, I like the pirate though. Though there was one thing I noticed about the pirate that I would have changed is the not I won't be too picky, but the animated for the main leader. Uh, what was his name? Uh, let me find out. Wait, I'm trying. I'm trying to. No, a Gorian shard on a Gorian shard. Uh, he, I gotta say, animation wise, mouth moving wise, that is one detailed thing I would pick about this episode is that it was not exactly matching the you know my expectation. He's a big, he seemed like a big leader, dude, and uh. And we talked about the guy on the ship. Yeah, the green guy with the little leaves falling off. The alien with the leaves falling off. Him. It looked like the pirates from the Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> the one he had a stick. They actually make this like a pirate. They actually made this like pirates but in space with a giant, with mm-hmm. a giant, with a giant crew and a giant ship, which I thought. Yeah. It it hit my it hit the spot right there. Seeing the pir- seeing all the pirates of the Caribbean movie, I just thought, oh man, this really looks like another like Pirates of the Caribbean, but in space. What did and, you th- What did you think about the whole idea that the bar was now a school? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was, it was the guy's school. It wasn't yeah, the public what- school. It was. Well, well they showed, it was for the public. It was but, a school, yeah. It was a school. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they showed he us. Was, he said, "My school," and that would be saying that because he was in charge of the whole yeah, of the yeah. place. Yeah. Um. But yeah. I, yeah. Um. Yeah. When they, they showed us bar, they, they sh- when they say bar, I thought of mouse in in well, the Simpsons. When it's funny. Said, it's funny when, when Amanda was like, "Oh yeah, go ahead." What when saying? they said bar, mm-hmm. I thought of Moe's in the Simpsons. <laughs> the Simpsons. <laughs> no, the bar. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> I'm heading to Mo. <laughs> that time, <laughs> Homer says it. Uh, but yeah, uh, the definitely it, it did give that. Uh, uh, Simpsons vibe there too, but not that not enough about the Simpsons. Um, but uh yes, uh also uh I I, I love when uh Mando's just leaning down in the uh uh in uh in the tree and then his arm his like hands and his belt he's standing like a cowboy and then when he's the when the pirate would threaten the mag the magist <laughs> the high mag he was very picky. You have to make sure you say hi, hi, Mag, hi, Mag. I can't even <laughs> myself. But, but and then you see, Mando already had his gun prepared, and pew, 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 you know, mm. they were oh, they were ready to fight. This this episode, this Wait, episode you, was full of action. Like, what did you think full. about about him? Mando being offered the role of Marshall. Was he offered the role, role of Marshall? Like the police. 
Hmm. I didn't catch that part. But and it was within the the idea of him slow down slowing down on that planet. Oh yeah, yeah. He could be like he could be like a marshal. Oh, I yeah. thought you were asking of of the marshal. Okay, yeah, yes. Um, no, I was like taking the wall, like you will have the wall of marshal. Mm -hmm. I I honestly thought that was interesting. I honestly think he would do a great job of it, but I don't think that's why he that's why he wants to head for his life. Right, because uh, he was kind of like the police officer. He was being yeah. a little bit like a little police officer. Yeah, like he said, Grogu, he returned it. Grogu, Grogu was handed back to him. So now it's his responsibility uh, mm -hmm. to take care of Grogu now. And we, we see that through the droid who attacked Grogu. <laughs> the, the G7. Yeah. Killed the assassin droid. Yeah, and... that, remember, it was like the, so, the first, that, so like the man and I met, they were working together, and then he, and the man of shot him to save Grogu from the <laughs> droid. Uh, when episodes yeah. later, that droid shows up as a nurse droid. Yeah, IG-11, that's the... Yeah. And then oh. he and then he self destructed and then we see mm -hmm. I him as a statue. He was a statue. Yeah, I actually <laughs> they didn't make, a, they I actually, make a statue of him. He was the statue. <laughs> yeah, I actually find it honorable that they did that. They created a statue from a droid that was uh gone. And uh that's that they kind of respected the statue. Uh uh, the droid, so I, I I like that a lot. I I like the respect on that because he did give his life, you know, to save Grogu, uh, Mando and Grogu. Now Grogu wants him back. Now Mando, who never trusts droids, <laughs> finally deciding to get his own droids, and I thought he was like, Man, "That is awesome." Of all the droids, I trust <laughs> the droid. I I am shooting down. Yeah, he <laughs> ended. Up... He shot him. <laughs> Yeah, he ended and up hating. Self destructed, but yeah, the part that made me laugh is when he rebuilt the droid. He revealed the IG eleven, the assassin droid. <laughs> he was all, he was all uh, six. He was trying to get his portman done, and then he's like, "The bounty is my assassin <laughs> terminated," and uh, he, Amanda's like, "Nope." And then Grogu just like jumps on Mando's arm and <laughs> he starts walking with his leg. Like the uh, that reminded me of um, uh, what's the movie called again? Um, Terminator. Yeah, Terminator. Hmm. That reminded, uh the first Terminator movie when Terminator's body got cut. I think that's where they were trying Ooh. to get. They were uh, reference from. Uh, oh, what reminded me? It reminded me of um, the Lego episode, episode one. Oh, Darth Maul. Yeah, I remember when they, <laughs> yeah. they were like it was quite gone the kind of house. Yeah, and then the mall. Yeah. They were there, and then and then uh, then he um, and yeah, then Obi Wan. Right. Not the head. Then with the head, no, mm -hmm. the head was hopping. <laughs> yeah, and then he could. It was probably a reference yeah. to a lot of different things, but it was it. It also was just like, oh, he is a droid, have got body, and he wants to assassin Mando. And Mando, you can see Mando shot him so many times, <laughs> but surprisingly, Mando missed some of the shot he shot. Yeah. Some of the sound did. Some of the shots did bounce off. But some of this out Mando miss until he handed Grogu over because uh IG eleven caught his hair his end. Which is interesting. I thought the IG seven went back to his old programming. I wonder if all droids are like that. Do they do all droids go back to the to the program 
stop her screaming. Huh, yeah, that is so interesting. Because like 3PO, um, he has memory, and then when he was shut down for the, to translate the, um, the blade, mm -hmm. and then they brought him back to his normal self, he had lost his memory of who everybody was. It was a memory wipe. Yeah. So I'm wondering, I'm wondering maybe it was like a memory wipe, mm -hmm. but not at the same time. I don't really know. Maybe the... Well, 3P would definitely did get his memory wipe. Yeah, I mean... So there's no he, doubt. But the assassin He can't keep droid, a secret. <laughs> yeah, the assassin droid was the... Was the assassin droid memory mm -hmm. wipe or like... Was that like a reset? I... Um... I think it was just the, when he he lost his memory, he uh, he he probably got when he blew himself up and stuff like that. You know, he's he went back because he was programmed that way. He mm -hmm. wasn't like he wasn't like R two where you may you make him to just program and you add stuff into him. Uh, he was just automatically programmed that way. Mm -hmm. I think that's why the issue pops up of the uh, so there of his was, assassin or whatever. Yeah, it wasn't Boba Freak. It was uh, the Anzellian. Yeah, you know, uh, the Anzellian. Hey, they didn't say hey, <laughs> which I, which I wanted one of them. You know, to yell, hey. but they kept saying. Bad baby, bad baby. When Grogu grabbed one of them, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, "Bad baby, bad baby." <laughs> he's not a, he's a, he's just a child. Mando defending Grogu, he's just a child. He doesn't know anything when he's literally, he's literally fifty years old. <laughs> they were like, "No, no, no, it's broken. <laughs> the droid is broken." I thought that was pretty funny. Yeah. I think if I was to watch that episode again, I would just watch it just for the, <laughs> the laughs. Yeah. And that was... It, it was pretty funny, especially when the mag magistrates try, try to tra uh, translate for Mando what the. Uh, Why don't what, they have what the Anzellian was doing. saying? And Mando's like, I got it. Like I understand. <laughs> he kept looking at him. He kept translating. He's like, I got it. You don't need to keep translating. I think I got the language now. They speak like Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> they literally did. They spoke like the Yoda. They're like, they, and then there was one like, spot which I'm going to catch you really, later when we do it like, again. But Baba Freak was like, Mimi, who go blink, blink. Mimi goes blink, blink, blink. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby Freak definitely was the uh one of the best uh uh parts in uh, Rise of Skywalker, my favorite character. Uh mm -hmm. but uh also we got the pirates, which I love the mind the mind of uh the uh uh the as asteroid, how Mandel really used the asteroid. He played a game of hide and seek, which I thought was yeah. Amazing. I thought it was like the, <laughs> like it was like it wasn't speed of chase. No, uh, yeah, but it was it wasn't really a speed of ch chase because it was in stage, but it's like yeah, a, it's, like, it's like that. But yeah, like, it was a battle. It was a battle in space, which is something I always lo looked forward to in Star Wars in general. Is a battle in space and mandalorian brought everything this is what i look forward to it was a quick episode it was quick it it presented strongly it it gave uh the continuity in it mm. and i just thought wow this is such an amazing episode it, it actually i think this was the first time where i watched the star wars show and i was like ah oh, satisfied you know I mean, the same thing I would say with so many shows, but this literally brought me everything I look, everything I was looking forward to Andor, 
this like filled me up and I was like oh. yeah when well, you say fat and satisfying mm-hmm. that brought back some indoor memories uh, fat the- and satisfying I, I just thought Andrew did not Andrew did not satisfy me as much as well. This I mean, well, you, I mean the line, like they don't, they don't even care. They don't even They're care. They're so fat and stuff. Nah, <laughs> I don't really care about that anymore. I, I, I love right now. Well, my yeah, is- what you said. Mm-hmm. That the whole fat and satisfying. Yeah, stuff. this. Yeah, oh yeah, this brought me. I was fat and satisfied of this episode. And not just that, the Bad Batch brought us a very great episode that I felt like fat Mm. and satisfied about that. This one, I definitely felt like fat and satisfied. Like I felt it. I was like, so like they're they're both satisfying, but this one was more fatty. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) This one was more fatty and satisfied. Yeah. That one was. The bad and batch fine. was fat and satisfied. This one was more fatty and satisfying. So yeah, mm. yeah, I, I definitely felt. I I I don't know why, but I'm old, I'm having this like, uh, uh, I have some questions from fans, uh, questions about the Mandalorian that we need to answer. And if okay. you guys have any questions, I uh, always don't forget to uh, leave us a message. At lost hyperspace at gmail.com. Uh, leave us a, an email or uh, just leave us an email and we can answer your questions or answers and to the in the podcast or separately, whatever you want with the question and answer you have. And also, we like people who come up with theories and uh, that we can answer in our podcast. That would be great. And we will love to have you guys as guests. Or wherever, um, if you want to be a guest, also just leave us. Don't be afraid. Just leave us an email, and we always love to have people as guests, and it's free. Yeah, what are you going to say, Matthew? We don't bite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, we don't bite. Eh? <laughs> like Matthew might just say, we don't bite. I know if we're doing Don't bite. be afraid. Hmm? Have people like, ask some questions yeah. that you yes, want to answer? Yes, yes, In the next round, but we got to finish breaking down the men's luring first uh, and then go to questions and answering. Uh, but mm. uh, definitely, yeah, like we said, we don't bite. Leave your message or whatever at lostsiperspace at gmail.com and definitely answer your theories on what's going to happen next. Uh, we already got some friend uh, making up theories, so I'm gonna read them in our podcast here in a little bit. But, uh, but yeah, I I I I also enjoyed the going back to the Mandalorian. Sorry, uh, I also enjoyed the uh, just the music. What did you think of the music? Like, especially for me. Well, yeah, yeah. You go ahead. I asked. Yeah, first. it was new. Yeah, great. It was like. Can you imagine it's still with bomb music? Sometimes yeah, it gets so used definitely. to it. Yeah. Sometimes it gets so used to having music mm-hmm. in Star Wars that sometimes you just, me, I end up, I didn't really hear much of the music because I kind of like just, uh, so used to it. Oh, man. Uh, but yes, I, I pay. One the other one's theme was very, it was still <laughs> yes, exciting. Yes. Uh, one of the things I, to me, movies for me, movies all about music. Without music, it's so hard for me to enjoy it. Um, but soundtracks, music, all of it, whether it's hip hop, whether it's just instrumental, whether it's anything, I I just love music in movies anytime. Um, but especially when Mando makes it interesting, and then you hear the Mando. And I'm like, oh wow, he made an entrance. That was like the best Mandalorian entrance ever. And then seeing now I do have a question. Mm-hmm. So the episode when they when there was there was the in the trailer there was the whole 
clan of two. Mm -hmm. I was kind of thought they they create there's this there's there was the Tell to Watch, which was mm -hmm. one clan. They now go and create a new clan, just Grogu and Mando mm -hmm. being the two in the in that. So I was kind of wondering maybe. In that sense, maybe he ends up creating his own group, just him and Grogu to start with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, that would be uh, that would be awesome. I mean, I, I, I don't, I don't mind getting it. I... I'm just saying it's a possibility. Yeah, yeah. I think so. I think so. Um. But yeah, definitely this will be uh, a good thing to see. Uh, actually, I want to do this. What if we do our next podcast? We answer uh, fans' uh, theories and questions in our mm. next like podcast. We do again after we watch the Mandalorian again. Talk about it again. We'll, well make. Don't we want to talk about the episode that we will watch? Well. Yeah, let's talk about it. This episode, I mean, this episode. If we watch it again, if you watch it again, I watch it again, and then we can do like the next podcast again with like we could call it uh, fans questions theories and, and answers. questions and answers. Yeah, questions and answers or Q and A, Mandalorian Q and A. How about that? Yeah, yeah, that would be awesome. But because I got it done, and that will be fun to answer. But yeah. So yeah, let's talk about like the big uh reveal with uh Bo Katan here. Uh what we got from Bo Katan. What do you think of seeing Bo Katan again and how how cruel and surrendering she was? How sad well, and depressed she was. Yeah, it was <laughs> they did a good job at showing that. Now yeah. then what they did show was he didn't go to Mandalore yet. Yeah, the place, not, not the, until the, the next place, episode. The, yeah, the place where Bota Tan is is not Mando, Mandalore. And remember, this was uh, this was uh, in the Mandalorian system. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. The 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 fun part is discovering that there was a Mandalorian castle. I thought that was going to be uh, I thought where. At, in the trailer, that's what to me it appeared like I thought that was going to be Mandalore, where Bo Katan uh. was sitting, but surprisingly, it ends up being uh, the Mandalorian castle. It's in the Mandalorian, it is in the Mandalorian system. I mean, oh, so. so in the Clone Wars, when we see that is the team, mm -hmm. the, the castle that she lives in and all that. I yeah. thought that was the Mandalorian castle. But here, this is the castle. Maybe, yeah, yeah maybe after the purge, there's some clear differences. But, but in the, in the, um, in the cartoon, in mm -hmm. the Clone Wars, it's like a whole city. Oh yeah, yeah. But here it's like just like a big fancy building surrounded by grass. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, <laughs> and raining too. Mando came in and he was all wet. Yeah, this was uh, chapter seventeen. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, see, uh, just knowing that, seeing and knowing that they even have a castle, that was that was pretty cool. It seemed like a small castle. Maybe that's where. You know, the Mandalorians go when they're depressed. <laughs> like <laughs> Bo-Katan. <laughs> bo went in there and she's like, I kept up on Mandalore. And none of the theories or things you've heard about Mandalore is true. And I, I felt sad for her and pitied her for some reason. I, I just um, felt heartbroken. That bo was like, I give up on Mandalore because I don't have the dark saber. He literally told... She literally told Man Mando to go around to go back to Mando and just wave the light. She's like, just wave the dark saber up high, and you know they will obey everything you. Do you think that? Do you think he will do that? 
Um, that is well, he's going back to Mandalore to cleanse himself, but honestly, like, but he's there with other Mandalorians, Mandalorians and he has a duck saber. Might as well do that. <laughs> or is yeah, he, or is he just might as well. This, or is it just a this is me and Grogu's adventure? Um, I honestly think he might actually do it. I don't, he's Mando. I, I I think he's going to do it. He's man. Oh, then he's like, this is the people I mean, I am now ruling. Mm -hmm. Is now my queen. Is my clan. Well, Mando <laughs> definitely seemed like he... He's he... left a clan. He wants to cleanse himself so he can be part of the clan again. But if he's going to quit, if... Let's pretend he becomes he creates this clan of two. Mm -hmm. Let's pretend that he does this lightsaber thing, which kind of make, makes all the other Mandalorians be join in his mm -hmm. clan. Yeah, yeah. It's also nice to see how Mando had a second choice uh, after his clan refused him. I mean, he he seemed that uh, he he was he he told uh Bo-Katan, I'm here to join you. And um, Bo-Katan seemed to, like, refuse because he wasn't there when the ple the, pledge ha the plague happened. And and uh, so why should well, he accept him? Yeah, he was he was rescued by a different clan. Of course he was going, he wasn't there. Right? It mm -hmm. was even during. Yeah, Bo-Katan was like, you'll be a fool to head back there. There's a uh, she said, there's nothing magical about the mind of Mandalore. Uh, their supply... Yeah. The planet has been re revenged and poisoned. Basically, it's been poisoned, ravaged, and poisoned. If... If you want to go, be my be my guest. She doesn't seem very happy that he, they think it's going at all. Mm -hmm. Kind of like kind of like the the Mandalorian wasn't very happy with the idea of him going to cleanse himself to become the yeah, potentially be part, part of the of clan. The Part of the, uh, the clan again. <laughs> well, yeah. but the tan isn't very pleased with him going to Mandalore, Mandalore either. Yeah. yeah, maybe because they know something that Mando doesn't. Mando's like, I'm gonna, and I, I Mando's like, I'm going, and I'm gonna check if that place is really poisoned. So, well, he's it, wearing a helmet. He's, he's gonna. The helmet is protecting him from poison. If it's poison, but gas. what what <laughs> she might mean about poison as an um. She might mean toxic, toxic poison, but she might also mean uh poison as in uh people, uh cruel people who are who are not thinking right, who are not in the right mind. People pretty much who are poison that are not they're not uh they're not uh, um, thinking straight, or people or who people aren't murdered. Aliens. They might be like. Uh, because if it wasn't if it was people who are Mandalorian, I don't think she would have called them poison. I mean, the Empire came because you are um, you are. Hmm. So I of course thought the Empire came. We yeah, moved. It could be poisoned the, by the Empire. Uh, yeah. So what I was going to think was the Empire came. We moved the Mandalorians, and they might have moved, put some people there in. Instead, or they just want to occupy it. Maybe, yeah. maybe the empire is the poison. Maybe, yeah, maybe. Yeah. But now that there's X Empire and the empire is overthrown by the by the rebellion, that I don't know what to say. Maybe with her or not. Yeah, and she, the way she said this. Yeah, the way the woman also said this is the way she was, she didn't seem so happy. She was, you can see she took a big deep breath and she's like, fine, this is the way, I guess. <laughs> it was like, 
this is the way, I guess. I guess you can be part of the clan again. And not that I care or anything. You left us. You abandoned the Mandalorian ways. You know, I honestly want him to be part of... I honestly... I don't want him to be part of the watch, the uh, child of the watch anymore. Yeah, me neither. If that's the way they think, <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I love Grogu too much. I don't think it's it. I don't think it's really. I think this is why he's gonna. This is what's gonna happen. Is he's gonna go there, and then he's probably gonna find the original Mandalorian piece or whatever, and he's gonna probably take off his helmet and kind of struggle and deciding. Of what he if he wants to do that or not want to do that yeah I honestly could. i wouldn't go for what if i was him yeah because it's just like we will only accept you if you do this yeah this is and he's also being a yourself yeah he's also a father so i wouldn't do that it would just ignore this is the way and <laughs> and follow my own way can I Boba Fett? This is the greed, yeah. You know? Boba Fett follows his own path, his yeah. own greed. <laughs> Boba Fett doesn't go. This is the way, you know. Um, but yes, uh, this episode was an amazing episode, and looking forward to seeing more aliens, Mandalorians, maybe. Yeah, we're uh, definitely yeah. gonna see more Mandalorians. Yeah. I'm still gonna. Like, yeah, we're definitely gonna see. We're more definitely gonna see both the Tan again. Yeah, because she still has to say, "You think your father's you, you think doing Mandalorian? You think your father was? No, did you think your dad was the only Mandalorian? Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, it's definitely Boca Tan is going to go back to Mandalore. Whether which ep which chapter of Mandalore, we don't know yet, but. This is going to be an exciting... Oh, one thing we need to not forget about to talk about is the creature we saw in hyperspace that Ezra literally used to tie up uh, Thrawn and him, and that's when they head to hyperspace. So I don't remember what the creatures were called, but we should look it up in the book and mention it in the next podcast. Remember the whale creatures? Are... Yeah. Ooh. Uh, they yeah. were shown... It was shown in uh, in the hyperspace when Grogu was just staring in the hyperspace. I oh, saw them and I'm like, "That's what they oh, was." Yes, that's what they were. And I, I was like, "I thought that was." What did I thought that was, that was yeah. the? I thought that was like a shadow of uh, the ship no, the, that they those, were in. No, those were well, actually those creatures, and they were in hyperspace, and those and they the only thing in hyperspace we saw. Was I cool. was this. I was this crazy thought. Maybe they're setting up for a soccer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because that's what I thought. Maybe the whales that he, Grogu saw, uh -huh. maybe I really doubt the possibility, <laughs> but it's like saying it's like where if he was like basically Grogu was saw Ezra, Ezra yeah, Ezra and Bridget, Thrawn. and was so like... Ezra and Thrawn, yeah, but. We but, didn't see any but, star destroyers, but yeah, I mean, the, but the whales would have been, yeah, would have been the blah, would have been you make a bad door to the window, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I have a theory that somebody sent me about that, about that episode, so we can re we can read it in our next podcast and uh, hopefully enjoy reading it together with you guys and answering it together. So, um, but yeah, this episode blew my mind, I love every single part of it. Any last thing, <laughs> Matthew? No. Okay, yeah. This episode was just incredible. Everything part of it was amazing. Loved it. Looking forward to next episode. Looking for that one to be even bigger than this one. Better, hopefully. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for always listening to our podcast. We always appreciate it. And it's always nice to hear from you and hear your theories and stuff that you guys have. And uh, again, don't forget to hit that follow button or, or subscribe to our YouTube. Check out our merchandise. All of those stuff will be in the link just below the podcast in the description. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for listening and may the force be with you. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, yeah. We, were, we talked about saying... And this, this is, is the, the way. way. <laughs>
<laughs> this is to, the way. We need to work on that for next time, but yeah. This is yeah, the way. I was paying attention. <laughs> yeah, this is the way. This is the way. 